Hey guys, Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile. Today we're taking a look at a couple tablets. We're going to quickly compare them on video for you to have a kind of a better understanding on, uh, you know, kind of what to expect if you're looking to purchase a new Android tablet. So what we have is a LG G-Pad 8.3 versus a Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. So you can see they're both, you know, not 10, they're not 7 inches, they're kind of an in the middle 8.4, 8.3. So it's kind of a perfect size of portability, but not too small. And I mean, as you can see, they're both very similar in size. They both have the very thin, sleek bezels on tops and, of course, the sides. And then another thing is they both just have excellent displays. We have a 1920 by 1200 full HD display here. But then on Samsung, they've really stepped up. The Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 has a 2560 by 1440 uh, you know, QHD, just almost 2K resolution, and it looks it looks gorgeous it really does it's a great display it looks awesome and the LG G pad was one of my favorites but Samsung's display is just it's 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 really good you're definitely going to enjoy it and it's 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 worth kind of the additional price now this is 399 out the gate the G pad is 349 but it's recently been dropped to 329 but it is available also with 4G LTE from Verizon for 299 which makes the LG G Pad kind of, you know, the better buy. Get it for $299 with the same amount of storage and a very similar screen. But before we get into it too much, let's kind of just go over it. The screens are about the same. Samsung here we have a 2.3 gigahertz, you know, quad core processor with 2 gigs of RAM. It's a Snapdragon 800 from Qualcomm. Over here we have a 1.7 quad, you know, quad core Qualcomm, and it's the, the Snapdragon 600. So it is slightly. Uh, Slightly slower, but not enough that's going to make a difference. We have 2 gigs of RAM in both, 16 gigabytes of storage in both, beautiful HD displays. I mean, they both have stereo speakers on the bottom, quality front and rear facing cameras. So there's really a lot going for both LG G Pad 8.3 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. Real quickly here, we're just going to go over it a little bit. We have Android 4.4 KitKat here with Samsung, although you'd never tell because they kind of have this magazine UI that kind of has changed the entire look and feel of, uh, you know, stock Android. You can kind of move these around and customize what they call the magazine UI to give you news and sports and Facebook alerts and anything you want kind of right here on your screen. And then I added this Google bar here because for the most part you can't really tell it runs Android unless you get into kind of some of the settings. There's this tiny little Google bar down here and that is it. So that you can't move that around. You can't add Google Now to it, but I mean obviously Google Now is kind of built in with search for those that want it. But once you slide in here you'll notice some of the major changes here from Samsung. There's you know the usual Bluetooth and Wi-Fi information and couple settings as you scroll through but everything's kind of divided by tabs up top which is something Samsung's done as of late when you go into something like LG you'll notice that theirs is kind of a more standard layout for Samsung or for Android but the only problem here with LG versus Samsung is we're on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean here versus 4.4 now this was released with 4.2 right before KitKat came out so I mean they could have had 4.3 but I mean it's got, it definitely needs an update, one should be coming. For the most part LG hasn't been the best when it comes to software updates. Um, they're not the quickest, so hopefully an update to KitKat is coming soon for the LG G Pad. You know, otherwise Samsung's definitely winning here because it's got Android 4.4.2 KitKat already on it out of the, out of the box. So definitely a nice change of pace. You also see the, you know, on-screen buttons versus the dedicated menu button. And, our dedicated home button and then you have some multitasking here like we're used to with Android but kind of Samsung's changed that push and hold that over here to kind of access the same menu but enough of that let's go really quickly around both display devices and just kind of give you a rundown one thing here LG has this knock on feature you double tap to so quickly turn it on very nice it, it seems kind of like a small thing but it is very handy and helpful for a tablet but go ahead and come to the side both of them have power buttons on the sides and the volume rockers up and down but let me just go over them one at a time here we have power volume up and down as you come over here to the bottom side with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack up top we have a micro SD slot for expanding storage and then an infrared port for a remote control and then there is a 5 megapixel camera on the rear. 
dual stereo speakers and then that micro uh, you know USB for charging but it's got a nice aluminum feel it's it's a fingerprint magnet but it feels great in the hands there is some some kind of plastic on the top and bottom and it, you know pl plastic on the sides that might make it a little easier to hold so you don't feel like you're going to drop your all aluminum tablet then you come over here to Samsung and we have that faux leather like plastic wannabe leather design from the Galaxy uh, Note 3 we have an 8 megapixel camera and a 2 megapixel front facing camera and then uh, we also have this micro SD slot here of that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack we'll rip around to the other side we have the power volume up and down and then an infrared port as well so both of these can double as a remote control for your television then down here we have the stereo speakers as well and the charging port so there's not a lot going on here they're both very similar with features options and layouts the only thing when when it kind of breaks down is Samsung's got a slightly better display it's got a faster processor and a better camera and the latest version of Android so you put that all kind of in a perspective the Galaxy Tab Pro probably offers a better experience but it is $399 versus $299 for the LG G-Pad from Verizon. But, just a quick look here at both of these tablets. They're both, you know, very good competitors for the next seven and awesome tablets in that kind of mid, you know, mid-size, not too big, not too small. LG G-Pad 8.3 versus the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.